Um, first of all, this worries me a little bit. And keep in mind, when we do these readings, sometimes it can, you know, talk about the worst case scenarios, best case scenarios, and uh, very little in between. Sometimes that's just the way that, you know, the energy is going to manifest. And so if you're dealing with a situation and you feel like the cards does not capture what you're dealing with, I would say watch another reader, okay? Or watch your moon sign, watch your rising sign. Because... What's coming in here? I do feel that there are some revelations regarding where you stand with another person that you might not want to hear. So right off the bat, that is going to be, you know, just trigger warning for those of you who feel like, uh, oh, no, I need to, you know, question or doubt my significant other. So this is just for those who might have inkling awareness that there is some something going on with your within your relationship. So let me just talk about this. I feel like you're making demands on another person and this is not anything bad because I feel like, you know, if you're in a relationship with somebody, it is within your rights to tell the other person what you want, what you deserve, what you care about, what you expect. So this is kind of like giving or telling the other person your expectations for how they should behave in a relationship. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody that in the past has been very, very flaky. They're not holding up their end of the bargain. They say they're going to do one thing and then, you know, they, they don't follow through. And I also feel as well, when it shows up in the reverse, you're dealing with someone who's quite popular, quite attractive, um, possibly somebody who's not really faithful. And what's happening here as well we see here the Knight of Wands moving towards the Ten of Cups. You possibly could be dealing with somebody who is already in a relationship, who is already married, or who's already, you know, who has another relationship on the side. So what ends up happening with this combination is, I feel some of you Aquarius, you are telling somebody, giving somebody like the ultimatum. This is someone who gives ultimatums. This is someone who's like, choose me or choose the other person, but you can't have both or my way or the highway. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with this. It is within your rights to make demands, but just make sure that the person that you're with is on the same page as you, because I feel like you're dealing with someone who is not on the same page. And then likewise, even if they don't have another relationship on the side, their ideals of love, marriage, and commitment could be very different from you. So they could be, you know, a little bit younger than you, and they're not ready for this happily ever after just yet. You might be a little bit older, and then you're just like, oh, my, you know, clock is ticking. And you can be male or female. doesn't really matter. But you want certain things. You have certain ideals of what relationship and stability looks like. And I feel like the other person... They're not on the same page. They're not on the same timeline. They're not where you want them to be in order to achieve this yet. They might be one day, but in the meantime, you're waiting, 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 waiting for the payout, waiting for the relationship to, to blossom into this commitment. And I feel almost as if it's speculative. It's wishful thinking. And it's not realistic because the person that you're dealing with, time and time again, they're not proven to be ready for the commitment. And I feel like they're turning their back, okay? I feel some of you, you might be kind of like third party in a situation. Somebody might have given you the runaround. Somebody who's not at operating from a space of enlightened, you know, of, uh, from a space of wisdom, they're not behaving in a rightful manner. They're deceitful. They might not, they might have control issues, honestly, with this emperor in the reverse. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let their current relationship partner go. So they want to have it, you know, have their cake and eat it too. And speaking of cake, it is your birthday time. So I feel like you're making demands, you feel like it's the time for you to make these demands. But the person that you're dealing with, they're really stubborn. They're not going to change. They might keep you in the dark. 
being kept in the dark about a lot of things, not giving you all the information that you need in order to piece together, you know, uh, all the pieces of the puzzle so that you can see the situation for what it is. So I feel some of you have doubts, have um, inkling that you might inadvertently be in a third party situation and you might be getting proof this month. So unfortunately, and that's what I mentioned with that disclaimer up front, if it doesn't pertain to your situation, then, you know, it's not going to be you. But I feel like you have hints and inkling about this situation. And I honestly feel this is a card here about a self-imposed prison. I honestly feel many of you are aware of this. And the wishful thinking is that, you know, this person really loves me. This person, every time I try to walk away, you know, they lure me back in. And it's like, that's not really love. That's more like possessiveness because I feel you're dealing with someone who's like this, controlling and wants to have you. And if they can't have you, they don't want anybody else to have you. So they kind of string you along, even though they're already in another relationship and they're keeping you in the dark. So they might be very deceitful. Uh, they're not honest with you. So that's just the bottom line. Um, it's really important for us to, you know, look at the situation and look at a person for the way that they are rather than what you're hoping them to become. We have to deal with the reality of a situation rather than the wishful thinking. So separating those two would be the first step for you to unravel the situation. On the other hand, you have somebody here I feel um, if you are culturally, ethnically, linguistically, whatever the, it's like a, it, I, I feel like an interracial relationship, okay, interracial relationship. You're not on the same page and it doesn't seem to me like it's never going to work. It doesn't feel like it, it's, uh, it's doomed, but I just feel like your expectations of each other are not in sync you both want to get here. You both want this. This is the marital bliss. This is the relationship, reunion, coming back together, having a lot of trust and a lot of faith in each other. But there are some things. You're fine, Aquarius. There are some things the other people, the other person that you're dealing with needs to sort out from their end. And I feel it's career. I feel like they're kind of spinning their wheels, going in circle. They might not have the financial resources, okay? They're, they're trying to build up the financial resources in order to feel secure enough to make you that offer, right? And so you're just like telling them, when is it going to happen? When are you going to give me this? When are you going to come? When are you going to drop by? When is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? So, you know, when you want answers, you tend to hound the other person with a lot of questions, right? And the other person, they have trouble saying no to you because no to you, because you're very, very black and white. So no to you, saying no to you can seem very, very final. And that's why they're a little bit evasive. They're trying to avoid saying no to you. But in, in the process of not giving you an answer, it's aggravating for you. And so you and the other person, you're not communicating well. And then you're not, you're not approaching each other in, a, in an understanding way. You're hounding them. And the more you hound, the more evasive they get. And so that to me spells out clear miscommunication. Okay. Um, so the point here is I feel like that person, their career is not stable. They want the same things. You're, you're both headed towards the same things. You want this stability. You want this love and commitment. But financially, they're not where they need to be. Professionally, they feel inadequate. They feel like, uh, no one's really looking up to me. I'm replaceable. I'm not highly looked uh, respected or I'm high, not highly looked after in my line of work. So things can fluctuate. And so I feel like professionally, they're not where they need to be. And their energy is heavily focused on their professional life. 
and they kind of feel really bad about themselves and you're kind of in the dark about this you're not really aware of their struggles because you're kind of stuck in this phase where you're only concerned about your struggles so already I feel like this relationship needs some tweaking it needs to be balanced out it's not just about what I want but it's more about what is my partner experiencing and how can I be there for my partner how can I do things to emotionally support my partner so that they don't run away from me every time I give them you know ultimatums so that's where we stand okay the other cards the other cards this spells out to me um, trust issues okay you having trust issues with another person and I also feel like you know a lot of the time let's just say this okay a lot of the times um, we kind of speculate we, we speculate and we have no basis for doing this but we do it and um, air signs tend to do it a lot air signs and also earth signs so it, it's it's almost like this your partner might come to you and your partner might say like uh, I'm paying child support and I at the end of the month I don't have any money left and you're just like you you do the math right and you're like okay so your partner makes less say five thousand a month and you're like child support is one thousand mortgage is uh, two thousand so you have two thousand left so why do you always complain that you know you don't have money so that's when we're overreaching because we think we're kind of like creating our own version of reality and not really listening to what our partner is telling us the point is they're telling you they don't have the financial resources and already you're doing in the the math in your head to discredit what they're telling you so that doesn't really lead to a good outcome when we're constantly doubting what our partner is saying and this to me seems like that it, it seems like doubt and it could it, it doesn't even have to be financial it could be you know the things that we do the 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 mental gymnastics that you guys revert to whenever somebody's telling you something and you automatically um, kind of like calculate it in your head to discredit what the other person is telling you because you can't wrap your head around why that's happening and so you have to create your own version of reality and if that version of reality doesn't jive or doesn't match up with what they're telling you then obviously you're like oh they're not telling me the truth so let's aim for a little bit more compassion when we approach relationships and also being a little bit more patient so that we don't constantly bombard the other person with our expectations and when they feel they can't deliver they feel like they failed you so it's almost like setting up a relationship with a lot of expectations with a lot of expectations you should do this you should do that we should do this we should do that and it's it can feel really overwhelming for your partner and then when they can't tell you yes or no they have to be evasive and then when they're evasive it triggers trust issues and I feel like you know they they don't want to say no to you they don't want to feel like a failure because saying no to you no is a really really bad thing to say to an Aquarius especially because it's very final you can't really go back from a no okay and rejection for many of you Re you counter rejection with why why not and so I feel like your partner is aware of that they're not able to give you a yes or a no and they become evasive and then when they become evasive you have your walls up and you just don't trust them after that and on the other end of uh, on the flip side we do have a situation here where you're dealing with somebody who has another relationship and I feel like you're giving them an ultimatum knowing full well that they have another relationship and so my advice here Aquarius I believe it was more like this my advice here Aquarius is that some of you might be in denial of the sheer fact 
that you're very alone in this relationship. If you are a third party here, I don't feel that it's going to end well because the other person is going to go back to the relationship that doesn't give them ultimatums. They're going to go back to that relationship that, you know, doesn't, that, that's stable, that's secure, and that doesn't give them this type of energy where you're constantly asking where where have you been, where are you going, knowing full well that they do have another relationship. So I don't know what else to say here, but I do hope that you can um, glean some important information from this so that you can make your decisions accordingly, okay? If it's a third-party situation, I just don't see it's going to go anywhere. If you're dealing with your partner, there is clear communication issues and it needs to be addressed, okay? Um, be, if you're not in a third party situation, your partner is going through some financial, you know, um, juggling here. He's, he or she is trying to assess, do I have enough? Uh, am I going to be okay? I'm going to, am I going to be stable? Can I take care of the people I love? So I feel like it's done from a really, really noble place, but they're doing this without telling you. They're kind of like very much alone with their financial worries, okay? So give them time to kind of come out of this. Give them time to do the math and then come back to you with a yes or a no. Uh, don't hound them, okay? So go easy on your relationship partner. Um, singles, I just feel like this is a very work-oriented month. So you might not have the time to date, okay? So you're gonna be hitting the ground running come February there isn't a lot of socializing and social interaction and flirtation and dating that's going to be available for you, okay? So not to say that, you know, don't date at all, but I just feel that the energy is, um, it's like you're going to be meeting more people in the work environment rather than in the dating realm, all right? So I hope the reading has been helpful once again.